Alright, and we're back with more of Sekiro. It's been a while for me. I know it's not going to seem that long for you, obviously, because you're just going to be watching these in order. But it's been about a month or so since I last recorded. And I believe last time we fought the monkey, we fought another headless monkey and his mate, who we actually discovered is actually, I think was pretty much undead. And you could see that their bones was up there. Or, or at least if it wasn't the mate's bones, it was it was somebody else's bones. Which I think was really interesting because I never found that secret on my first playthrough. I didn't even know that was up there. So we fought him there. So we actually fought two bosses. But luckily, luckily uh, the brown monkey wasn't really that hard. It was just kind of in the way. So... We are on our way to getting the last ingredient for Immortal, or not Immortal Severance, to uh, to get to the Fountainhead Palace or whatever. What was it called? The, um, the Sacred Realm, I believe? So, that's where we stopped at last time. And I believe that, if you see those blood trails, I believe I, I mentioned this last time, but I, I think that's supposed to imply... There is that person up there who uh, we saw on our way down. Who said like, oh, watch out for those apes or whatever. And they lost a lot of blood. And as soon as you talk to them, they died. And I believe that's supposed to be like maybe their blood. I don't know. But let us continue on. Uh, so this next area, these next few areas are we are going to be going in are going to be kind of interesting. Uh, yeah. How do I play this game again? Oh yeah, you spam R1. And you win. Okay, that's right. So, we have illusions here. Oh, it's this guy. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, if I recall, I remember telling you that when I first played through the game, on my first playthrough, uh, I sent this guy to his death from that guy, uh, who wanted a vault, who wanted a, a subject to experiment on in, like, the dungeons. And now that we didn't send him there, he actually appears here. So we can talk to him. Oh. <sighs> すぐそこにおったのにお主うんおう忍びどのか聞いてくだされそれがしはついに身申した女の僧者でござる遠目にもわかる美しくだが儚い様子のああ呼んでおるのはわしなのか尋ねるのじゃったつい聞き惚れておるうちにすっと霧の奥へ去ってしもうたわ。オッケー。Okay. So he's still chasing after. So he's still chasing after that music. Who, who he thinks is uh, calling to him. So Your father watches too much Naruto. I'm, I'm sorry to say. だが。今はどうでもよいさてこの先は何とも濃い霧の森よあの女僧者のもとへ行くにはどうしたものかなまずあみんあいはなつ霧の奥でオッケーまあまあまあまあまあまあまあまあまあまあまあまあまあまあまあまあ
conceptually uh, that is but really it's just like okay well I'll, I'll explain in a second so we are at the hidden forest and the thing about this area is that the ground here is covered completely in fog and what this fog does is it has a bunch of illusions inside of it oh and a chicken right here yeah, I hear rooster. Yeah, I hear turkey. Yeah, so there's a bunch of fog down here on the ground level. And there's a whole bunch of, of those. Um, how do I want to call them? They're they're like illusion enemies. They're, they're basically just normal bandit enemies, but with the. But with like. They're the they're the see through kind. Yeah, cockadoodle do. Come over here. Um but the thing is is that here, I'll I'll go down here and sew you. Just just so we can well, I don't even need to sew you because we're we're gonna be forced into the fog anyway. But here, it's it's these type of guys. And I don't, I don't, under, I don't understand what these type of illusions are supposed to be. Like, if they're supposed to be keeping you out, then why are, then why are there illusions of like, guys just sitting around not doing anything? That's why I don't understand. Like this guy, he came out of nowhere. So that, so that, that's a good illusion right there. He came out of nowhere too. And you can fight them normally, just like, uh, just like any other enemy. Like, you can stab them or anything, but I believe if you stay around here long enough, they will come back. So, killing them doesn't really do much. I, I don't think that they, they, they come back right away, but they do eventually come back, so... Finding them really isn't worth it, but the, but it is it is nice that they are a bunch of weak enemies. So we actually have another guy like right here. Oh, Okay, so this monk guy, actually, again, I don't know what his deal is, but he actually gives you some pretty useful information. There, there's a temple out in the fog that we need to be aware of, and that's where the, that's where this fog is coming from. And the door is closed, but there's an entrance on the second floor. Uh, can we get up here? I think we can. Yeah, I know we can. It's just... There we go. There's another pelican up here. Dude, get out of here. Uh, yeah, so... All this fog in area can be dispelled, which means that there's not really a whole lot of reason to... Uh, you go exploring in it right now because we can just take care of the guy who's actually causing the illusion, and I believe that's what that samurai guy wants. So that if, so if, if we dispel this fog, I believe that we should be able to um go back to him and tell him that it's okay to to cross. 
Dude, get out of here. <laughs> Block the chicken in, in midair. That's good. So... So this is the area that you're kind of forced to, to be in. So that, that first area was kind of like a glimpse of what's to come. And now this is the area that you have to be in the fog. And even though these are like illusion people, they're, they're still as stupid as actual people. Uh, so this is the temple place that we need to get to. But, uh, as he said, there is no way to get to it from the first floor. And you can you can go all around it and you can keep looking, but you, you won't find a way in normally. There the way to actually get into this place is to come over this way. You have to like go a, the long way around. This place, this this area isn't actually that big, but because of the fog, it makes you it does kind of make you get confused and you do have a pretty good chance of like losing your way. But luckily I know this place pretty well. And yeah, that, that wall is what you want to look look for. <laughs> yeah, let me just stutter over my words. That wall and this little grapple point is what you want to look for. Uh hold on, where, where do I wanna go? Do I wanna go this way? Oh yeah, I do wanna go that way. Then what's what's going on over here? Why do I want to go? Oh, wait, hold on. This probably leads back to it. Oh, this leads back to the area that we just came from with the monk. Okay. Now I should also point out that there. See, yeah, there's there's a there's a monk with the with the burning scrolls and everything. I should also point out that there's a ghost down here. There's a there's an apparition down here that we can fight, but. I'll, I'll, I'll hold off on finding him until we actually clear the mist and we go back and tell that samurai that it's okay to, to continue on. Because I've never done that before, so. I've never had that samurai get this far without me sending him to his death. So it might be pretty fun to see what he goes for, what he does from from there. Whoa, okay. I almost fell there. I thought I could just walk off. All right. Uh, now this area, we see a very familiar face. We see the, uh, do you see the guy for like Jizo the drunkard or whatever? Jizo, Jizu, whatever. But he, he's there. He's not an illusion. But he's surrounded by a bunch of monkeys. By a bunch of little monkey fellas, you know. And... I, I want to take care of the monkeys before taking care of Jizo himself. So, how are we going to do this? Well, we do something like this. Uh, get up here. Okay, or not, or don't. You know, okay, fine. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I love it when when grapple points is just are just like nope. I love that so much. The grapple points are literally just oh oh yeah I mean you you, you could get there but we're, we're we're not gonna let you we're not gonna let you grapple to it yeah that's great that's really great how uh, I couldn't it's like oh I mean it's green so you could reach it but we're not gonna let you grapple. That's what I was trying. I was trying to get up here. Oh my god! <laughs> We're not going to do that. All right. So the best thing to do right now is to like let that guy forget that we're here, and so we can get a free kill on him. I think we got to move farther away, actually. So this is the way that you're supposed to go. Do I want that? I don't know. 
Okay, so now that he's lost track of us, we can actually come up here and get a stealth kill on him once. I I don't trust my jumping ability. I've I've already had my jumping ability like not work for me once, so Tokujiro the glut the glutton. I was almost at gluten. I caught that. Alright, he got me with that sweep. Fine sake. Oh man, that was nice. See, if I actually stop and concentrate. Oh my god. Where do these guys come from? I'm gonna die again. Uh, as soon as I killed him. These, like, ninja knights are illusion people came out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, sir. Just have to have them home in on me like that. Okay, thanks. Oh, I mean, yeah, thanks. Yeah. It's, I don't remember this happening the first time that I fought those guys. Is this, like, a New Game Plus thing where these apparitions appear more often? Is this a new game plus thing? Because I do not rem remember taking care of that guy and then having and then immediately having these apparition ninjas show up and to wreck my day. I do not remember that in the slightest. Dude, there's no way. <laughs> I mean, that actually would be cool, honestly, if like new game plus kind of added in some. Uh, like some more apparitions because I think like once you get past this part of the game uh... Oh, I almost died. Oh wow pellets uh, Once you get past this part of the game, I think that apparitions actually start appearing in the overworld oh, I shouldn't have gone back this way Apparitions start appearing in the overworld more often like in places that you already been those illusion people start to pop up more So, yeah, I could have uh, run around the, I could have run around this whole foggy area and explored everything, fought all the people, but there, there, there's no point. There's no point because you have to come up here anyway in order to get inside the roof. But something that, something that is cool I'll, I'll, that I'll point out is that, um, Right here, behind behind this little temple, uh, there are there is like a big stone wall right here, and there's two lanterns with the uh, with the little spirit emblems. Uh, keep a keep a mental note of this area because it will be changed in a second. So we jump over here. There is. Lots of butterflies to kind of so, to kind of indicate where you need to go in to. There is this guy, who is apparently the one who is causing all these all this fog and stuff. Even though he has two health bars, he's not hard.
Grave Wax. And by killing him, we undo the illusion. This is pretty cool. Like, <laughs> I mean, first of all, I don't know why he had two health bars. Because all you gotta do is just spend R1 attack and you're always gonna kill him. But now that we come out here, we see that, 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 that those two lanterns with the spirit emblems, it's actually a pathway to where we need to go, which is pretty cool. Because I remember, I remember exploring the mist area my first time, and I, I came up to this part, and I'm like, hmm, that's kind of suspicious. Why, why are there two lanterns right here with spirit emblems and a giant stone wall? Hmm, that's, that's weird. Turns out I was correct, <laughs> thinking that was weird because it's actually the way you, where you want to go. So now that the illusion, I, I don't know why, I just like saying that word, okay? Listen, I know what you're thinking. Why is he saying illusion weird? Well, it's because I like saying the word illusion, okay? It's fun. Illusion. 